one of my very favorite moments that comes every month has arrived. It's Grandma in a Box, the January 2021 edition. I cannot believe I have been blessed enough to be receiving and reviewing and demonstrating this box for you guys for months on end now. I have loved every single, I think it's been since August. I think August 2020 was my the first one. And a Grammatary has killed it with every single theme that has come out. This is the first month where I don't know what the theme is um, because I didn't look at social media and it's not obvious, right? It's like December, it's Christmas, October, it's Halloween time, January. I don't know what's going on inside this box. I'm really excited to find out. Also, I'm going to do this video a little bit differently. I tried this format with Joy Project and I loved it a lot. So what I'm going to be doing is opening the box, showing you the contents just like usual, and then I'm going to be filming a time lapse of um, us actually making the cookies inside the box, or the projects inside the box, which should be really, really fun. And you will get to see our process and I will also include photos of the finished products just like I always do. I love having this channel for a couple of reasons. One of them is that I'm consistently challenged to grow. I, when I started, I had no idea how to even like edit a video at all. Like I had no, it scared me. Didn't know how to put uh, photos over. Didn't, certainly didn't know how to include videos in videos. Like, you know, like a time lapse inside of a video. So I'm growing every day. Number two, I get the opportunity to support small business. Actually flip those. That one's more important. My uh, video editing hobby growth is secondary. Um, but I get the opportunity to share a bunch of small businesses with you guys um, in hopes that you are your eyes are opened to what you see and you want to go purchase from those small businesses instead of giant corporations, which they're good too. They're all good too. But if you love what you see with Grandma in a Box, which I don't know how you couldn't, um, please, please go check her out. It is $22.50 per month with auto debit. Um, just a tad more expensive than that if you want to try just one box. And then if you subscribe for a long period of time ahead of time, there's a discount there as well. I'm a huge fan, and I don't even have kids. So, that's that. So it comes in a cute box that looks like this every month. Grandma in a box. You see Grandma Terry popping out of her box there. And we'll open it up. Oh, I did not pre-take the... Uh, the tape off of here, so you guys get to watch me do it. Make some noise. This one's a food box. I just opened a ramen box as well, and so the cat is around. Every time I open food, he's present. He's here for it. Um, so open it on up. Here are some cards I will share with you in just a moment. Here is the signature polka dot wrapping paper on the inside tissue paper. Comes with everything you need for three separate projects. Um, you don't have to bake anything. You just assemble, put it together. She does all the work. You have all the fun. Um, and the first thing in here is send grandma in a box to your Valentine. What a cute idea that would be. I cannot wait. I love Valentine's Day. I like always do, no matter if I'm single, partnered, whatever it may be. Um, I just think it's a really cute holiday. Um, I can't wait to see what February holds, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. So, um, January donuts and cupcakes is the theme. So welcome to the January 2021 Grandma in a Box. This month we have three new projects with our fun theme donuts and cupcakes, including donut pops, cupcake clouds, and themed cookies with frosting and sprinkles. Very cool. So yes, there's always two projects that vary. And then the third project is always a um, sugar cookie decorating where she bakes all the cookies and then sends you stuff to be able to decorate them and make them really fun. So first things first, the first project in here is Donut Pops. So for this project, you'll need the melting chocolate, crispy rice cereal, Fruit Loop cereal, popsicle sticks, spoon, and microwave safe bowl. So let's get a close up of what they look like. You'll be able to see my finished product here. It's the magic of YouTubing. I don't know what it's gonna look like when it's finished, but you guys do. Already? You know what I mean? Yeah? All right, second project is Cupcake Clouds. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. They are, um, it looks like, is it marshmallows? Yes. So you'll need six white paper cups, a package of marshmallows, confetti, sprinkles, all that good stuff. There are those Cupcake Clouds. Lots of fun colors in this one. 
And the last one, donut and cupcake cookies. So here is the sugar, sugar cookie decorating. And I'm gonna show you now the contents up and now I will show you the contents of the box. Um, very, very official announcement that I just made. So as you can see, it is packaged with absolutely everything that you need. Um, very, very rarely does anything spill or go out of place. Um, it's been nearly perfect every single time so that nothing goes to waste. So you can see in here, we start with a package of marshmallows. I love that she makes the projects, she puts the projects in order so that um, you can, like usually you use the melting chocolate in the first project and then you use the rest of it in the second project, like it carries over. She puts them in an order that makes sense. Um, so the melting chocolate this month is orange and white to make like a creamsicle color. Packed of Fruit Loops. This is frosting for the sugar cookie decorating. There's always plenty of frosting in there. I've never, never run out. Looks like white, blue, and orange in there, going with the theme. Package of Rice Krispie Treats. And here are all of the fun sprinkles for cookie decorating and likely some of the other projects as well. Look how fun. I like these dots on the bottom here. Here are the sugar cookies for decorating. Here's big cupcakes and big donuts. And then there are small cupcakes and small donuts. Uh, my boyfriend and I always turn those into a competition to see who can do the best ones. He usually wins because um, not great, but I'm here to have a good time, you know? That's all that matters. Here are the popsicle sticks that are included, the um, cupcake cups that are included for the clouds. And then she always includes parchment paper so you can lay it out and let your chocolate dry and so that you don't make a huge mess. So now that you've seen the contents of the box, let's go on to the time lapse so that you can see the process. I will see you all very soon. Please, please enjoy the rest of this video and our process. And please find something creative to do sometime soon. If it's not grandma in a box, find something fun to do with your loved ones. It keeps you sane. Okay.